Tranga Lions Roar, well, right now, making the Africans so proud for the fact that they were able to do that particular win in that encounter against Ecuador. Touch one, tough one, rather, for Senegal, but they were able to do it. Congrats to them for qualifying for the round of 16. Welcome you on the show, 360 Sport on Trust TV. I am Adini Ajishafe. Well, we start from the home scene. A lot of faction in the world at the World Cup there. But let's start with our own story. 2022 National Sports Festival opening ceremony host today. The uh, competition will be starting full late today. At least uh, all the tradition and the FCT are right now in Delta State, precisely in Asaba, to see how they'll be competing in 30 different sports. Well, over 14,000 athletes are expected to compete in this competition taking place in Asaba, Delta State. They will be fighting out for the opening ceremony in the evening, and that will take us into the beginning of the 21st edition of National Sports Festival, where different athletes use this particular platform to see as Nigeria Olympics to at least compete against one another where a lot of talents have been discovered and at least uh, we'll be celebrating our own while the National Sports Festival is actually starting over there in Delta State. Well, we wish all the teams the best as they compete for honors there. Right now, let's start with the World Cup stories. We are 2022 World Cup. Teranga Lions beat Ecuador to progress to round of 16. Good one for the Teranga Lions. They roared back against Ecuador as uh, Ismail Assar scored a penalty. And you have uh, Kalido Kolibali making it 2-1. Well, even though Caicedo put one back for Ecuador, it was not enough for them to scale through despite uh, winning their first game against Qatar. But right now, they are out of that group. And you have uh, uh, Terenga Lions, really, they are so happy. And all the Africans are also celebrating. I have in the studio, uh, Noel South is here. Let's talk some football. Good morning, Mr. Lini. Yes, good one. Uh, you saw what happened between Senegal and Ecuador. That game yesterday it was like the whole Africa was having their hearts in their mouth. But eventually, the Lions roared back after they considered that goal, making it 1-1. They were able to score another one. Koulibaly making it for them. It was a scene of great thing of joy for Africans entirely because Senegal is the first African to qualify for mm. this uh, for the round of 16. So we're all happy. We we're all watching the game yesterday and we were like, ah, what's going to happen? After my Ismail mm. Assar scored, we were like, okay, mm. we're happy. Then when they equalized back, it was like, oh God, what's happening? Mm. When Meli Kolibali scored, you can see where we're watching the match, everyone was just, we we're all happy that at least an African team was going to go to the round of 16. Then when it was like six minutes to the end of the game, we were all praying, God, help us, God, help mm. us, help, 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 help the Senegalese to get there. Because even with the absence of, of um, Sadomani, they see proof that, yes, it's a mm. good team. I think the Nigerian uh, Super Eagles should learn from, from them because they, they made us proud yesterday, the Senegalese. Despite losing their first game, you know, they lost their first game and you are like, oh, maybe Senegal will not be able to make it. They still didn't give up. They never say die spirit in them. They, you know, as they call them Teranga Lions. Yes. The Lions don't go shaking out. So they showed class uh, in that particular game against Ecuador. They needed a win and they went for it. Yeah, they, it, actually, when they lost the first match, we were lucky. We were, we were, looking, we were a little bit downcasted because uh, Senegal was, was a major thing where which all Africans um, already put their hope in, even Nigerians, because they are one of the best teams uh, in, in the African ranking. They are the first, so we are having the hope there. So losing the first match, we were like, okay. But we still make reference to 2020, uh, mm. 2010 when uh, Spain lost their first match. But ended and up, they went uh, uh, to, to win the uh, So we are, we, are, we are having that hope now that... <laughs> it <laughs> is very possible. Yes. It is very possible the... that Senegal is right now. All they need to do is not to be complacent. Yes, uh, they were able to do it against Ecuador. And it was a fantastic uh, uh, performance for the entire squad, despite not having their main man, yeah, Sadio, right. so uh, on the pitch. But really, uh, they were compact. They play as a team. After they considered that goal, Costal of uh, Caicedo, uh, it was like, um, well, will this end this way? Uh, you know, Ecuador needed a win, a they draw, draw. Sorry. They, they needed a draw, draw. Then, and uh, Senegal needed a win. But they were really uh, fighting hard, showing why they are called Teranga. Yeah, the resilience uh, was there. Mm. And they kept proving everything they could do just to make sure they get the goal. And finally, it came, giving all these fans. Look at the fans, boisterous fans of Senegalese uh, uh, team at that pitch, supporting them. And really, 
the Tianga Lions deserve to be celebrated right now. Being the first African team to qualify for round of 16, and we just have to appreciate what they've done. Despite the fact that they started on a very bad note, but right now they ended well in that group stage. Uh, good one for Senegal, still celebrating them. Let's look at another story. 2022 World Cup, uh, well, Qatar 2022, Gakpo, Dijon goes lifting the lands to secure top spot. Uh, well, you just have to look at this particular uh, team. They've been fantastic. They call them the Orange Boys. Uh, for Netherlands, they were able to do well. They defeated Qatar, uh, silent them 2 0. Gakpo Kodi scoring there. And you also have uh, Frank de Jong also adding another one to actually show to the host nation that football <laughs> really <laughs> stays in the Netherlands. <clears throat> it was really a great, um, it was a great match to watch. Actually, from, from the beginning of the tournament, I knew uh, Netherlands was going to qualify. Mm. But I never knew the other country that was going to qualify with them. Well, I had, had, the, I had, the, I had this, the, the confidence in them that they're going to win. Because they had, they had classic players. You can see all their players, likes of uh, uh, Dipe, Dijong, uh, what do you call his name? Uh, Gapo. Gapo, Van Gieke, uh, All of them. All of them. Mm. They all play in top, team football, uh, top teams and they're all first team players. So I had the confidence in them. So seeing them get to this, um, to the round of 16 wasn't a surprise to me, I thought. It was something I expected. Something expected, but really, uh, uh, it's not. Although even if Qatar had won the game, they they, they lost uh, two games already before the match, and it's not as if they're going to pull up any surprise. But really, uh, Qatar should have at least uh, tried to see if they can even win one against one match. against Netherlands. It's not possible. They are in a, a terrible group. <laughs> yeah, they are against the Ecuador, um, Senegal, and Netherlands. <laughs> terrible for them. It was a terrible group for them. A terrible one for the host nation, Qatar. Right now, they are totally out of this competition. They are not in the just as spectators now. They will be watching from the stands or from their homes. Now, let's look at the way Group, tab uh, group A table finally uh, stands before uh, qualifying for the uh, round of 16. Looking at the way the table is standing now, you have Netherlands. Yes, uh, they were able to hold their own. They have uh, seven points. You have uh, Senegal. Yes, Senegal also. They have six points. Uh, well, uh, rather, uh, you, you look at uh, this competition, Ecuador, all they needed to win was, was a draw. draw. They fought hard, but it wasn't working. <laughs> it seems, so uh, painful for in uh, Valencia. It seems the God of Football is, uh, was against them yesterday. Mm. <laughs> it was for Senegal yesterday. And you can see very tight group there. Netherlands, seven points. Senegal, six points. You can see just one point within the first and second. I have Ecuador. They're having a... Uh, Three, uh, four points and Qatar zero. Mm. The list of the themes there is actually the host country, which is Qatar. Mm. But you can see the many Senegal, Netherlands, and Ecuador. They all played well. They tried. Now I know why you call it a very tough group. It's a very tough group. You can see. So they all they all tried their best. But Ecuador should be leaving um, the World Cup with their shoulders high. They mm. tried. They really fought hard. Yes, they tried. No one saw that. Although not that uh, they, they are very good side, but uh, except if you think of that squad. You think of maybe two or three people, uh, players, that you can easily remember. Yes, But yes. really, they play like a team. They fought hard, but the draw they were looking for never happened as Ranga Lions roar to that particular game, and they qualify for the next round. That is talking about the round of 16. Uh, round of 16 will be starting from Saturday. And good one for the Teranga Lions, making Africans proud. Hopefully, other nations from Africa, Tunisia, Morocco, Cameroon, and also not forgetting the fact that uh, uh, they will be fighting hard to see how they can also make it. Can they do it? Ghana, we are believing the Black Stars can also roar to the round of 16. While we are still looking at the World Cup, quickly let's talk about the World Cup again. England, England beat Wales. It was a thrashing anyway. One, two, three. Rashford to the rescue and you have Phil Foden uh, scoring in that game. Well, they set up a clash against Senegal. But before we go to that Senegal issue, <laughs> let's talk about England beating Wales. It's the battle of uh, the British uh, let me call them <laughs> the, in, uh, uh, the Great Britain now. It was expected actually. Mm. You cannot compare the quality of players we always have and that of England. So mm. it was something we expected already. And England needed the win out because they drew the one against um, the one against uh, Ura, Iran, drew against the uh, US. US. So needed the win. I tried to have those seven points. So it was when I even saw the lineup yesterday and they have been uh, Senegal. Um, sorry, Senegal. Wales keeper, mm. Hennessy, been out with the record. I knew it was going to be a really tough one for Wales. So, and if it is the first time they are going to walk up in 64 years. So, mm. 
probably in the next World Cup, they should do try. They should better. try and work harder. Well, right now, Wales are out of the competition. We are England actually scored three goals against them. Marcus Rashford there and also Phil Foden. You just have to appreciate what the young lad actually has done so far, even in the time he has played at the World Cup. And hopefully, let's see what he will be doing in their next game against Senegal that will be coming up on. Well, that's, uh, let's just keep that first. <laughs> but right now, Qatar 2022, Pulisic's trial. USA, they were able to do against Iran. Just a lone strike, and it took them to the round of 16. Talking about the USA team, right now, they are also celebrating. They, they actually to book that 16 ticket against the Netherlands. Tough one for them. They'll be playing against the land. But uh, uh, let's talk about the game first. Policing strike, at least after he scored that goal, injury setting. Uh, but at least he was able to get what they needed, even before the injury came. Now, that's the problem with Policing. He's injury prone. But mm. when he's not injured, he's, he always uh, delivers his best. And U.S. needed that win. Because if you see, they drew against uh, England. They drew against Wales, having two points. They needed that win. They needed that win, that three points. And uh, fortunately for them, they were able to do it. It seems that they was really good. They scored. They won. They won. Really good. They scored. And the the Rainers tried their best also to probably try, but no. The US team is a more experienced team. Most of their players, they play in top teams. They have to, have to motivate their players for players. McKenny, McKenny, Juventus, you know. So the police that plays for Chelsea. So you cannot compare the caliber of players. Uh, uh, what do you call uh, with the Iranian team? The, with the Iranian team. Most of it, I don't think there's no popular player among the in the Iranian teams mm. that play. So you can look the kind of players, and you can see the US, uh, US league, the US um, league also to the football league also is also gaining a lot of popularity because you have see a lot of great players playing there also too. Unlike the United where it's not that popular as that of the US league. So mm. it was all we expected. But I expected it having something like two to three three goals, but seeing one zero, a win is a win. Either one zero, of course, a win is a win. Three points as long as it's one. one. One nil, good one for USA. They were able to scale through right now. At least uh, they are celebrating the fact that they were able to do it uh, to qualify for the round of 16, joining Lyson Netherlands, Senegal uh, in that encounter. Now, let's look at the way the table actually is now, even though they've all, we know the qualifier, their time teams to the round of 16. England, they were able to go home with seven points. Uh, USA, five. You have a round three. And Wales, well, one. They actually considered so many goals there, minus five for Iran, minus three for oh, England. Yeah. The goal difference, seven. Actually, they scored in their first game. Remember how they walloped, uh, they were able to win 6-2 in yeah, their first yeah, game Iran. against Iran. That got them a lot of goals. And you see them scoring against Wales also, uh, three there. And if minus the goal they considered so far, they have seven goals they score. But for points, they really top this group. And yes. it's a good one for England. That's a very good one for England. A very good momentum, a uh, good, good spirit for them to go to the next round. But going against them going against the Senegal, I'll support my African brothers. They're mm -hmm. supporting them. We are actually yet to get to that place. But really, for England, USA qualifying that group, a tough one, though. But they were able to scale through, uh, talking about the uh, round of 16. Let's look at the fix of a round of 16. So far, yes, uh, we have teams that have qualified for the round of 15 uh, quickly. Let's look at that as we are hoping that uh, Senegal will be able to do it on Saturday. Netherlands, USA will be coming up. And you have England, Senegal. Mm. Well, <laughs> mm. this is a, uh, these are matches that you want to see what's going to be happening on paper. Like people say, you want to write off uh, USA against the land, but football is never played that way. And you look at England, Senegal. Well, I'll be rooting for Senegal, uh, even though you want to be looking at names, yes. But forget about the names, forget about the hype. Let's look at the kind of football that Senegal needs to play against England. I believe and I strongly believe that all they need to do, believe in themselves, they can defeat England. As it is earlier, possible. As you said earlier, on paper, mm. England will win Senegal like, let's say, 10 0. No, paper. no, I've talked about Netherlands, USA. Uh, yeah, Netherlands, yeah, on paper, yeah, Netherlands, Netherlands has uh, more of an advantage than USA. Mm. But to be realistic, football changes. Mm. Anything can happen. It's, some people say football is like magic, you, the unexpected happens. So you're going to be surprised you can see USC still going on the one goal and defending to the end of the I match. I still remember how Spain were moving. At that 2010 World Cup, they were winning 1-0, 1-0, one nil, one nil, yeah. and they were moving so until actually eventually they, got, they lifted the trophy. And even at the final, this one zero, uh, you go from Andres and Esther. So you can see it's possible. But I just, uh, to me, against the, the when you talk about the Netherlands USA guys, I, I'm rooting for the US. I don't mm. know. Rooting for the US. Okay, the big one that the whole African want to see on Sunday will be England, Senegal, really. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just have that belief that Senegal can do this. Huh. They can. Yeah. 
I have faith in Senegal, but mm. still, England. Mm. What, 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 what's the special thing about their score that in, uh, Senegal was in here? Yeah. Is it because of Sadio Mane? No, no, no. no now, about... look at this. Throughout the matches they play, yes, at the first match, second match, but right now, they are finding their rhythm. They can now play that, okay, we don't have Mane. It's, it's actually done on them that now we don't have him. Let's do our thing as a team. And it's working. Yes, it's you working. You saw that game that. yesterday. Yes, they played as a good team yesterday. The first match, the second match, like, okay, maybe a little, they, are needing, uh, they actually needed Sadio. But the, this particular one they, they played yesterday, in fact, they lost so many chances. Yes. They could have scored like four or five goals. Yes, yes. So now, all they need to do is to sit down and believe that they can defeat England. I'm not seeing, okay, look at the players. If you were to look at names, if I do look at head names head, now, head, 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 head. I, I don't see the names. Just like uh, this uh, Ghanaian player said, Mohamed Kudus, that Neymar is not better than him. It's just that Neymar is a high-profile player. <laughs> no, fact. Yes. There are some players that, yes, already they are there, up there. It's not as if you cannot find another player in a local league that is far, far better, more talented, but they are yet to get there because those ones are already on high profile. So. Looking at England squad versus Senegal squad, you are looking at the profile in England, yes, the EPL, yes, EPL. But look at the depth of that team as, as a team, the Senegalese players. They are very, very strong. Yeah. They can withstand the heat from England. They work they as can, a team. They can. They can do this. I'm not seeing, I'm not rating England higher than Senegal in this particular game. All they need to do is to believe, not to give that respect to them. They can. After all, they play together in Europe. And there's something I want you to know. The, 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 the Senegalese should not feel inferior to the English. That is not like it's very complex. Yeah, the only thing they need to do, they not to be carried away. You understand? You know, so that it won't happen like the way it happened to us in uh, 1998. We were to play Denmark. We were already looking at Brazil. Instead of us to finish, finish up yeah, with finish Denmark, Denmark first. Exactly. The fact that, oh, we know these guys. You know, they, be, they should not be too kind of, uh, oh, seeing them as, ah, it's not the player we play together week in, week out in England. Yes. Or in uh, Germany or anywhere they've, they've been together. So they should see that we are playing England. We need to play our match or our game. Take it seriously. Don't be complacent. Don't be like, oh, I know for, for them. Uh, know, what's his name? Nakaido I, Kolibari. I know, should not be like, I know Mount. I know exactly. Saka, yes, and so the these are my teammates. No. You are coming to play for Senegal. In fact, you are playing for Africa now. Yeah, That's the fact. Yes. You are playing for because We don't know if Cameroon will qualify. Since Cameroon will qualify, we never know. It's, they can still make it. If, we don't they, know. if they win their game. So they, they, are the, they are the show up luck for us now. The show up luck for Africa. For the, uh, for the, they have four teams. They have four teams. They're both. I'm only saying... Even though you you are you are already tilting towards England, but I believe that <laughs> Senegal can beat England. Sure, the, it the, is the, very the possible. African blood in me will still root for Senegal. It's not even about the blood. <laughs> the fact that those players I actually saw yesterday, they can beat England. Yes, and it is they can and they will. That Good. is my belief. That's they what, can and that, they will. That, that's what I want. <laughs> 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 Trying to support our African brother from Senegal, Teranga Lions. Will they roar against English team, the one they call Three Lions? Now, look at it. When Three Lions are standing, they, they have Teranga Lions. You know the meaning of Teranga. <laughs> <laughs> so as the way it is right now, they are both a, a big one. Uh, but Teranga could be big, stronger and bigger. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, Three Lions are always hyped. Yes. They hype their lion. <laughs> you understand? Are, know, they are their Teranga Lions are strong, yeah. victorious. And in so, the desert, exactly. Very strong. Uh, you don't expect uh, a Teranga Lion to be scared of Three Lions. <laughs> uh, you, you actually con uh, just add some spice to it, really. Uh, already, we are already actually previewing that particular encounter. Round of 16 between England and Senegal. A tough battle is going to be uh, on that particular day. Well, right now, we just hope that the Tiranga lineup will not just take it for granted that they've qualified. They need to show class and leave the whole Africa. They can do this. It is very possible. While we are looking at that particular story, let's quickly look at another one. Uh, Qatar 2022 World Cup round of three uh, fixtures for today. Matches will be coming up. Let's look at those games that will be coming up today. Australia will be facing Denmark and also Tunisia versus France. Uh, uh, tough one there at 4 p.m. The match will be going on simultaneously. And you have, uh, let's look at, at it one by one. Australia, Denmark. Denmark. Denmark is winning. Mm. That's, yeah. my, that's my own uh, prediction. They're so sure. Yes, Denmark is going to win Australia. You are so sure. Yeah, I'm very sure of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm well, very sure of it. Uh, well, even though I know Tunisia really, uh, from all the four teams from Africa, Tunisia needs to up their game. If they are to do anything, France already they've qualified. They yes, played yes, the one yes. two matches, and right now, what will be happening against the defeated Denmark, the defeated Australia? Mbappe is there uh, scoring goals easily, Giroud. and now they'll be facing Tunisia. Do you think 
uh, France who just want to feel like feature some players that have not played so far in this tournament. No, that's what, that's what happened. They want to feature some of those players they, that have not been featured so far in the tournament. They will feature them. So either they win or they lose. They are going to. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they don't want they to don't lose. They don't want to lose. So I don't know. Is so that they can top the group. Yeah, it's a very big. Uh, it's a very big decision. Uh, very big. Um, a terrible. Let's, let me use the word terrible match for Senegal. Because I saw, I, I saw somewhere where their coach was talking about uh, Mbappe will understand if he benched him. Uh, yes. Rather, he will understand. Uh, so right now, let's see what France will be doing against Tunisia. Can they win this game? It is very possible that Tunisia can just shock France. But well, let's see. But for Australia, Denmark. Noel is saying Denmark will win. We wait till then. Then Poland. Argentina, hmm. this particular group, another very tough group very, that very you have, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, you look at the way it is, Poland, Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico. Maybe you won't want to just uh, talk about it briefly because we know that in the evening we should take on it uh, seriously. But right now, Poland, Argentina, Lewandowski, Messi. Messi. Seriously. Yes, <laughs> Argentina. <laughs> well, yeah. This is the last, actually for both of them, uh, both are Lewandowski and uh, Messi, mm. it should be their last World Cup. And Messi, I don't. If you watch the game he played against uh, Mexico, you can, you can see how he performed really. That he scored and given assist that day. Mm -hmm. He was really in super form that day. So I don't think Me Messi will want to go home like that now. That's just he want to go home back after group stage. Now mm -mm. he wants to go further. So I think I'm rooting for Argentina, and I believe they are going to win. Mm -hmm. Why for Mexico, Saudi Arabia, Mexico? Well, Mexico all the way. Seriously? Mexico uh, right way. now, Saudi Arabia, they won, the they won a match. They have three points. They have, have points. Argentina won a match. They have three points. Poland, they got four because they were able to draw against uh, Mexico. Exactly. But right now, uh, even Mexico too, uh, they are fighting hard to see what it's they will do. It's a very tough it's group. It's a tough group. Very, very tough group. Very a tough, tough group. group there. We've been looking at how these teams will be playing. But for Saudi Arabia, really, I love the way they play in that game against Poland. Just that it goes in come. It was very painful yeah, because very painful. they play far, far better than Poland. But don't forget, Poland has one of the best strikers in the world. Forget about the striker. Really, it was just, uh, you know, uh, lots of concentration and all that. But if you watch that game again, if you try and watch, you see that really Saudi Arabia, in fact, the game they play against um, Argentina yeah, that they won, yes. they play far better. Just that goals didn't come, uh, they, they pressed more, they did everything just to make sure they got they get three points, but it didn't work out. Yeah, their coach will actually watch, uh, work on their attacking the way they, it seems that the strikers are not that sharp mm. the way they ought to be. So they, and they have a very, very good coach. So you should just try and say work on it. If they can work on it, probably the next World Cup, you should try better. It is very possible. Who knows? Maybe Saudi Arabia will actually defeat Mexico. You know, if they could do it against Argentina. Yes, who they always Mexico. Yes, yeah, true. <laughs> they might do it. They just get, uh, if they do it, they will get six points. Yes, and, and they, they, qualify. They, they, uh, might, they might qualify with that six points. Well, a tough group there, talking about Argentina, Poland, Mexico, Saudi Arabia. Well, we've been giving you a World Cup update. Matches will be coming up today. And we have... Uh, uh, those uh, games will be coming up there. Uh, so far, we have some top scorers at the World Cup. Quickly, we just look at those top scorers. A lot of uh, uh, players actually are scoring. Let's look at the top scorer at the World Cup right now. Gakpo, yes, he's leading the park there with three goals. You have Kylian Mbappe, three goals in uh, Valencia right now. He's on his way to, to, uh, Ecuador. <laughs> to Ecuador. Bruno Fernandes, two. two. Lionel Messi, two. two. Yes, a lot of uh, players have actually scored. But yes, these players are standing out so far. Cody Gakpo, Netherlands, is uh, leading the pack alongside Kylian Mbappe and Ina Valencia. There is still chance for those two, two uh, number one and two, to skill, score more, even Bruno and also Lionel Messi. Messi. Let's see if we'll be scoring more uh, today and be lifting uh, his country, Argentina, just like Diego Maradona did in 1986. It is very possible. Uh, quickly, let's move on to talk about two transfer stories. Now, before we wrap it up, Liverpool, Chelsea, Real Madrid, and PSG want to sign Ghana Mid feeder Mohamed Kudus. Kudus have been a revelation so far at this work, although he has been playing well for Ayas, but another spark of his uh, football, uh, football uh, techniques are really showing uh, his uh, class there. Good one for Mohamed Kudus right now. About four outstanding clubs looking for him. It's a good one for Mohamed Kudus, and that is the main important of World Cup, where players will want to showcase their talent so that mm. bigger teams we see them. Um, uh, uh, James Rodriguez from uh, this um, Colombian player. Yes. He made the it, same thing happened to him. Yes. Real Madrid went for him after the World Cup. After the World Cup. So let's see what happened. But yes. Real Madrid, Chelsea, Liverpool, 
PSG. PSG going for the IS man. Talking about uh, midfielder uh, Mohamed Kudus. They are attracting so much attention from different clubs. And before we go, Joe Cole says the man of the moment, Cody Gakpo, is worth 80 million pounds for him. Even though uh, the last summer when the transfer was, uh, uh, Manchester United were actually coming with 25 million, but right now he's saying the young man is worth about 80 million pounds. Uh, that's according to former Chelsea player Joe Cole uh, saying, well, if you look at him, he really deserves to get that amount of money because he has been so fantastic in this tournament. Yes, yes. That's what uh, as I said earlier. This is another importance of um, the World Cup where players do go. If, let not cont if they continue with this um, winning and win, it don't surprise me. I'll be going home with the golden, with the golden boot, with mm. the highest goal scorer in the, in, the, in the World Cup. It is very possible that uh, Cody Gakpo could be going home with that particular uh, uh, trophy or whatever. Let's see. Maybe the amount that Joko mentioned actually happened. Clubs are already looking at all these players. Kwame Kudus, Gapo, and all of them at the World Cup Qatar 2022. Giving you up there, Bear, as we wrap it up on the show. 360 Sport with Noel Samson. Thank you very much for the coming. The pleasure is mine. I am Adini Ajisha for Sport. It's always business and fitness. Thanks for watching.